It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Monday, the 12th of December. I'm Michael Groff, and we're looking at a very mild week ahead with near record high temperatures possible in some spots Wednesday and Thursday before we have a decided turn toward colder and unsettled weather this weekend. Also, some forecast uncertainty to talk about. So let's get out there and look at it this morning. Scattered clouds here in the valley right now at 545 a.m. We're sitting at 54 degrees, very mild start to the day at Sky Harbor. Dew point at 41 Relative humidity, 62%. The winds are light and the barometer is steady. Temperatures around the area this morning, well, we have 40 at Fort McDowell, 44 in Maricopa, and a few upper 40s, but many spots in the valley are actually in the low and middle 50s thanks to some high clouds moving through the area this morning. Should make for a pretty nice sunrise here in about an hour and a half. On the watch warning map, we have dense fog advisories in much of South Texas as well as the Florida Peninsula. And some winter weather conditions, winter storm warnings as well in portions of the Northeast and New England states, as well as the Northern Rockies, the Cascades, a little bit of action in the Sierra, as well as some flood watches in portions of Central and Northern California. On the convective outlook, no organized areas of severe weather across the country today, but some thunder possible in South Florida, as well as Eastern Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia today. All right. Let's dissect our forecast. Let's get into it as we take a look at the models and talk about our weather in more detail. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time today. Zonal flow, flat ridging here in the southwest today means partly to mostly sunny skies. I think we'll have quite a bit of high clouds around this morning and then some sun by this afternoon. High temps today getting into the low 70s, maybe even pushing toward the mid-70s. We were 73 yesterday afternoon. We'll be about 74 today if all goes well. Tonight with partly cloudy skies, continued mild weather overnight. Lows mid-40s to low 50s. Tomorrow, we've got partly cloudy skies, highs in the mid-70s. Wednesday, the split flow in the jet stream continues with the northern branch and the southern branch getting closer to one another. And so that's going to create quite a bit of interaction out there in the eastern Pacific. Pretty good surface low off the central California coast. Plenty of rain heading into northern California and the Pacific Northwest. But we should be dry for the meantime with broad west to southwesterly flow. We'll warm it up just a little bit further, pushing toward the mid and upper 70s on Wednesday. GFS shows 77 on Wednesday afternoon. And that would be just a couple of degrees shy of the record for the day. Then on Thursday, a surface low near Lake City, California, and the two branches of the jet stream merge there. Plenty of subtropical moisture coming into the central and southern California coast and plenty of rain and snow in the Sierra. And meanwhile, we'll have increasing clouds. We'll have high temps mid to upper 70s. The GFS Ensemble indicates we'll be near 80 on Thursday, and so that'd be well above normal. The normal high, 66 degrees, so well above climatological averages. And then this is Friday morning at 11 a.m., and we have plenty of rain going on across central and northern Arizona, some snow in the high country as well, as uh, plenty of subtropical moisture streams in. We are increasingly confident in the idea of at least some precipitation here in the valley. The problem is, is how much of that subtropical moisture comes in here, how much of that northern branch energy interacts with the southern branch. A lot of the uh, model runs today are showing significant amounts of moisture in the low levels of the atmosphere. 850 millibar dew points, for example, on Friday are pushing up toward monsoon levels around 10 degrees Celsius. So that implies a lot of moisture, but how much of it's going to get wrung out and the exact orientation of this surface low and the approaching trough, that is going to have a huge impact on how much rain we get. For now, We'll say a 60% chance of rain for Friday, but we're not going to pin down any details as to how much just yet, but note that there will be scattered to numerous showers here in southern Arizona Friday for much of the day and the evening hours, and high temps will cool off significantly. We'll be down in the low to mid-60s. This is the European Friday morning, and it's very bullish on precipitation. Lots of rain. Southern California, Nevada, Arizona, almost the entire state ensconced in precipitation. Interestingly enough, the European was dry yesterday and the GFS was showing a significant amount of rain. All right, this is Saturday and we start to see a decreasing trend in activity, at least on the GFS. The European still keeps us kind of wet. 
High temps would be only in the mid to upper 50s. Again, we're going with a colder solution now on both the GFS and the European. Sunday, we're partly cloudy, and there could be some showers, especially if you believe the European solution. It shows a cutoff low developing, uh, but the GFS keeps us mainly dry. Still plenty of clouds around, though, and highs only in the upper 50s to near 60. This is a week from today, Monday, the 19th of December. Still energy lagging about here over the southwest states, so we're still cool with partly sunny skies. High temps, upper 50s to low 60s. This is Tuesday, December the 20th. And again, still showing some energy to our south, but high pressure nosing in from the Great Basin and the west coast. And then this is the end of the forecast period, Wednesday, December 21st. A cutoff low somewhere over the Sea of Cortez or perhaps the central Baja. The European, on the other hand, shows a cutoff low, but it's further to the west and a cold trough to our north. So this would pull plenty of moisture north into the state. And with some colder air, we'd have some good lift, maybe some instability in the atmosphere. So we'd have some rain around here. So the bottom line is there's a lot of uncertainty out here. We're certain of a change in the pattern. We're just not certain on all the details and how much rain we're going to get. That's very much a question mark. For example, the GFS, this morning's run, shows a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain here for south central Arizona. But look at the European. It's showing nearly an inch of rain for the next 10 days. And some spots in the valley seeing about an inch and a quarter with two to two and a half inch amounts up along the Mogollon Rim. This looks like yesterday's GFS run. So they're, the models are flipping and flopping. There's not a lot of consistency except in the idea of at least some precipitation in colder temperatures. Speaking of those temperatures, let's show you this off the GFS ensemble through the period. Yes, warm. Look at that, 79, if this is right, on Thursday. Wow. And then much cooler uh, by this weekend. And uh, lo those low temperatures may very well get even colder than that. And that just depends on how much of that cold air gets on in here. An interesting forecast to be sure, and we'll keep an eye on it. Now to look at the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today, our next video by tomorrow morning. Thanks as always so much for watching. Have a great Monday.